In two miles, take exit 137A on the left to merge onto I-235 West toward Des Moines. Thank you. I'm leaving the country today. It's gonna be pretty scary out in the big world. I was supposed to leave a few days ago on this trip, so Cooper has no idea that I'm coming. I snuck in on a last minute flight, so I'm gonna surprise him at the airport. I think he's gonna be pretty exciting because he's been texting me all week. Asking me to come, he has no idea. There she is. Yeah, let's see it. <laughs> Welcome to Washington, the best state in the United States, right? Be quiet, Nebraska. Too expensive. Way too expensive. Yeah. Cole, just so you know, he had... We, had, we all had a little bit of suspicion. So but if you'd have been standing here when you were supposed to be here, he would have asked. But yeah. then I seen your name on his phone, I'm like, Zach, why are we here? How did, how was it? Like, oh my gosh, Cole! No, he said, does he have to come? Because I don't want to sit in the middle. <laughs> I didn't say that. Yeah. Moving in forever. This is my new house. Oh, oh, his ski jacket's at the very tippy top of that. Tippy top or the bickety back? <laughs> <laughs> no, back, back here. Seth, when you went to the UK, did you pick up any new cuisine that you like? They eat healthy. They don't eat fatty foods. Everything's sugar-free. Is it true they don't work much over there? Like, not. I'm not saying like. Not no, I guess that is right. All people in the UK are lazy. <laughs> Why are you trying to get everybody in this room canceled? Parker, I bet you ten thousand dollars. You can't guess the state that I'm thinking of right now. Idaho. Take a look at this tree. Oh, take a look. Take a look. We had a little ice storm come through here last night. Everything is covered in ice right now. This stuff is frozen. If you look at the LP tank, you can tell how full it is. The bottom part's full. The top part's empty. Oh. Real nice when you can't see. But I guess it's better that glasses don't steam when you're outside. It's better they steam when you come inside. Just kind of trying to stall a little time. We might have some semis coming this morning. Not sure yet. They're out kind of determining how the ice looks on the roads. I told them I respect their decision. I know the highways. They got a lot of salt, everything else on them. The highways are actually good. It's the gravel roads that kind of not that good. So... I always respect when the truck drivers say, hey, I'd rather not haul today. The conditions ain't great. It's their rigs. It's their livelihoods. So I would never, never question that. If they say we're not hauling today due to poor conditions, I am totally fine with that. So I know a couple of them are out looking. We'll let the engine warm up for about five minutes here, but I'm gonna open the door so we don't get fumigated. I don't wanna be showing the video and you see me plopping around like a fish trying to get air. I'm gonna try this. One thing nice about this Chevy pickup, uh, it sits nice and high. I was gonna put a floor jack under it, but uh, in some blocks, but I think I can get underneath it without them. Oh, no, I did make a mess. I got it in my eyes. Really? Maybe it's good for my complexion. How many gallons? Shoot, how many of those gallons that thing hold? It's still too slick. I'm still sliding around in my pickup. I hear ya, I hear ya. In, in, so I think. I'm not going to come today. Oh, that's full, buddy. That's full. Would you, my rat? I don't know what you guys think, but some of these dipsticks, when you pull them out, it is hard to see the oil on the material they have. Thanks, uh, sweet. Best part about places like this, when you come in and it's dark and you don't know what's going at all, and when you walk out in the morning, and you got that staring you right in the face. Seth, you want to get out of the shot, please? Oh, sorry. Right in the way. Sorry. You're still in it. There. There. Oh, dude. Oh, no. Serious. <laughs>
We're ready. <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> oh man, I just about broke my arm right there. <laughs> oh man, why would I throw that stuff? It's actually not a bad climb. <laughs> Dude, this thing is like a freaking wetsuit. You can't stop. <laughs> Uh. Yeah, I tomahawked, so. <laughs> <laughs> you good? Yeah. My whole face went in the snow, though, and I got a whole mouthful of snow. Oh. For steepness reference, <laughs> that pole straight up and down. I'm standing right now. I can touch the mountain in front of me. I wish I would have had the camera running a little bit ago, but this is how slippery it is. I'm basically on flat ground here. But I had the truck and trailer parked up here a little ways. Thought I'd go ahead and load the skid loader. Well, when I got the skid loader on the truck, it made the truck and trailer slide. I thought it was going to slide down the hill, but it slid and it jackknifed the truck just a little bit. I took the skid loader, I backed it off to try to get some weight on the back of the trailer to stop it. And she still kept sliding, but it finally stopped. But that's how slippery this stuff is. So it kind of reminded me now when we're, if we have to load this on any kind of incline, if it's icy, probably better not load it there because if it gets going down a hill, you're not going to stop it. But we got a grave to go dig. Looks like Ellie is ready. Dave, the Tyler and machine guy, he's coming out to help me. The boys are all off doing some different stuff. What we're going to try to do, we've had about three days, pretty cold temperatures. There wasn't any frost before this, it pretty well went out, but I'm gonna claw sideways a little bit on this grave, just to make sure I can get through it before I'm between the stones. Hopefully it goes through it real easy, but I'm running a 37 inch bucket, so it's pulling a lot of ground. But I think we're gonna be okay. Have you ever dipped it up on the, is this the corner? You what? Dip the stabilizer up on one side, let the other side down, and use this the corner. Never done that, Dave. I've learned something new, that makes sense. <laughs> now, doing these graves, the guy's got to kind of take his time a little bit. You can see I'm going over a stone when I'm going over to the skid loader bucket. I'm just missing that stone by a little bit. So you gotta kinda pay attention to that, make sure you're up above it. We don't wanna bust the stone. And then we're kinda digging between two stones. And then there's a vault here. There's a vault on the other side, so we gotta be careful not to hit them. We might rub them, but we don't wanna bust into them. And everything is so slippery with the ice, you see how it's moving my machine around. So it just makes a lot more things to watch. I wanted to give a big thank you for Dave for taking time to come up and help me here at the cemetery today. Dave, I really, really appreciate it. What are you doing, Santa? Let's get you over here where you're safe. Oh, pretty good chance you belong over here. The ice might look pretty and stuff, but when you're working in it, it just, it makes it harder. You're walking, you're more on edge because you feel like you're gonna spread eagle and split some muscles that you really don't want to split in half. So it just uh, makes a little bit more tense moment walking around out here when it's all icy. Trying to see if we can see any ice melting up here on the bin setup. I can hear it. There it goes, there it goes. Well, here's something. Whoa, look at that. Holy buckets. That just about hit me where I'm standing. There's some. Whoa. Probably better come out of there, Ellie. It's a little bit dangerous.
<laughs> well, today me and Justin, and I should say Justin's in charge. I'm just the one that hands him stuff, helps him. He's the professional carpenter. I better not shake my Mountain Dew too much. The boys are gone. And uh, so me and Justin are gonna work on the sh shop over here at Cole. In a little bit, Cooper is going to be coming home. He hasn't been around his puppy for probably a couple weeks. He's been on vacation. His little puppy usually goes crazy when dad gets back home. So here in just a little bit, he'll be pulling in. She recognizes the pickup. She recognized the pickup. All right, all right, if I look funny today, guys, I go to the dentist every six months, I get my teeth cleaned, I get my teeth checked. Everything has been fantastic. So usually when I go in there, I walk in there, oh, this is gonna be easy, this is gonna be simple. Last week I walked in. <sighs> they did some x-rays and they said it looked like a spot coming on up in the front corner over here. You need a root canal. I'm like, are you kidding me? How many years before I need to do one? Probably pretty soon. So they set me up as a specialist. I went up there this morning and if my face looks like it's swollen up and I can't talk straight, you know why, but driving up there 55 miles per hour and I'm getting about 10 miles before the dentist and I'm looking down at the speedometer and I'm only doing five, four miles per hour, three miles per hour. My heart starts beating fast and I don't know why, but anyhow, nervous. I go walking in there, give you a stack of papers to fill out go into the dentist office the little room lady comes in she says gotta check your blood pressure well i'm sure it's gonna be skyrocket and uh, anyhow everything was fine the doctor came in super 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 nice guy and at that point i'm like everything's under control they put that bulletproof vest on you did some more x-rays he said, this will be a breeze. Well then, they open your mouth and they stick this giant wedge in there. And you can't close your mouth. That's probably the hardest part. But like I said, the doctor, he was a professional. The nurse, they knew what they were doing and actually it went real good. But right now my face just uh, feels like, feels like an elephant set on my face and just got to be careful so don't bite my tongue off. So if you see me talking and something falls out on the floor, probably my tongue. We'll see how it goes when the Novocaine way literally... Hey, I can say I can't talk right because my tongue's paralyzed. We picked up a lot of rain last night. I don't know how much, but our creek did come out of the bank. So I'm hoping we can get this thing down the road okay. This is a time of year. Cemetery just looks ugly, I guess. Graves are settling from over the winter, from being frozen. We got some graves we need to touch up as soon as the weather's nice. You know, like this one, it's settling big time, but there's just not much we can do about it right now. Just better wait for it to dry up. Oh, oh, oh she's yucky. I ain't working very good. Oh, shoot, I'm not in a good spot right now. I know some years ago we were out in the cemetery and it was yuck, it was soup, 
but you know we want to get the vault at least covered up and it wasn't a couple days later I had a guy call up and he was not happy why did you do this why did you do that he was a nice guy but you know he was concerned about things and I told him it was so muddy we just couldn't do anything and I don't know he met me out in the cemetery and he was gonna show me how to rake a muddy soupy grave and once we got kind of working with it, he's like, you are right, this is horrible. How do you even do this? So, you know, like I told him, as soon as it got nice weather, we will get out here, we'll get things working with wet dirt right now. The hard thing is when it dries up, it almost dries up to be concrete. That's why like right now, we won't try to pack it in. We won't try to break it. Uh, hate to leave it like that, but there's just not much you can do with it right now. Back in the dirt pile. Oh man, this stuff's just goop. I don't know if there's much we're gonna be able to do today. And the bad thing is we tear up kind of down by the dirt pile for like the lawnmower people and they do a great job and now I'm making their job kind of difficult. Oh man, this stuff is just oh. I just can't get traction. You can see what we're going through here. Come on, come on. Whoa, oh man, if I break a windshield, I'm gonna be embarrassed. Like I said, I apologize to the family and everything with the weather condition. <laughs> I don't like leaving it like this, but the dirt is so wet, so heavy, just can't get it to do nothing. Well, this is how soft our gravel roads are. I'm stuck in the middle of our gravel road. Just got back to the bin site. It looks like Isaiah's up here. I think Cole is in the bin running the sweep. Cole has been running the sweep in the bin here. So we got it going, but this sweep, this thing here sucks the corn to the middle here, but this isn't set up on the timer or the sensor or whatever when the other auger shut down when the hopper bottom's full, this will keep running. So Cole's been standing over here. So when the center auger shuts off, he flips this off real quick. Yeah, I said he flips it off. Hey guys, everybody, I just wanted to thank you guys. The last few days, the last, well, almost two weeks Cooper's been on vacation which he needed a little fun and then Cole took off on some vacation time so I've been just kind of playing here in the mud as you guys know and I just want to thank you for tagging along with me but this is the end of this video for today guys so talk to you later